For this video, I want to let you know of a known issue regarding Adobe Illustrator and pressure sensitivity whenever you do drawing and using your brushes. To give you an example of what I mean, if you go to something like the paintbrush or the blob brush tool, I'm going to use blob brush because it's easier. When you double click on the tool options, one of the options that it should allow you to do is to vary the size of your brush based on the pressure. However, you can see that I only get fixed and random as a selection and all the other ones have been turned off. Now, currently I have an older model Wacom tablet that's installed. I'm using the Wacom Bamboo. Let me see if I can show you a picture of it. All versions of Wacom should be able to support the pressure sensitivity, especially in Adobe Illustrator. It's also working in Photoshop. Why not here? This problem also persists if you're using a Huion tablet. Now, if I double click on it, having the pressure sensitivity would allow me to give thicker and thinner lines as I draw off. Now, my, my tablet's working normal uh, as it would otherwise. I just don't get that thicker and thinner line as I draw. Well, here's a solution or a workaround that you can do to fix this particular problem. So the first thing we're gonna do is to go to Wacom's website and locate the latest overall driver that they have. Now this particular version is gonna support my current operating system. So when I download it, we'll confirm the download. Now this process may be slightly different for Windows, but it should give you the same results. We're gonna open the DMG file, and this should give us a package. And we'll double click and open this package. Now, since I'm using an older version of a Wacom tablet, I had to install that older driver. And that's the main reason why this issue is persistent. So what I need to do is to remove that older driver before I can install the newer one. So to remove the driver, I'm gonna to go to my Applications folder and locate the Wacom Utility software. If you open up this software, this will allow you to remove all of the tablet software from your computer. It may require a password or other identification. Now that it's been removed, when I try to run the package, it should run smoothly. All right, now with it installed, it's going to ask me to restart my computer. So we'll move everything to the trash. Do a full restart for this to, uh, to take place. All right, now with the computer tablet driver installed and the computer restarted, I can go back to my system preferences and let's make sure my software has access to the new driver. You can go to your security and privacy settings and first off, go to accessibility and make sure the Wacom driver manager is checked on and also go to your automation and make sure the tablet driver panel is part of the Adobe Illustrator uh, checked on set of functions as well, whatever that's called. Next, let's launch Adobe Illustrator and see if our pen tablet works. You may be prompted with this warning saying Adobe Illustrator wants access to the tablet driver, so we'll say OK to that. Let's create a new document. Now when I go to use my tablet driver, I've got one issue. It's not acting like it would normally do. It's acting more like a regular mouse, and I'll skip my tour, and I don't have the same functionality. So this is because we've gotten rid of our original driver. However, I should still be able to go to my blob brush tool, double click and open up the preferences, and uh-oh, the pressure sensitivity is still not there as well. So we'll hit cancel. So to fix the problem with my current driver, I'm gonna quit out of Adobe Illustrator and return to Wacom's website. From here, I need to locate the driver specific for my model of pen tablet. Once I download the driver, 
we can open up the DMG file and this should give us an older version of a package. And we can run the installation for this package. Now I've already done this for this driver, so I won't step through this entire process. But now that I have two different drivers installed, and you should see two different Wacom utilities installed on your computer, let's relaunch Adobe Illustrator. We'll create a new document now. Now that we've relaunched Adobe Illustrator, let's check out our blob brush tool. We can double click on the options. I can see that my pen tablet is functioning properly and I've also unlocked the pressure sensitivity and all of the other things that allow me to use my digital drawing tablet. With that selected, I should be able to go in and change up the size of it and also the variation on that size all the way up to whatever size it is here and let's see if I can test and get there's perfect pressure sensitivity. So having that little hack uh, of installing the latest driver and then reinstalling your driver back into Illustrator and also quitting Illustrator, restarting your computer and then turning it back on should turn on pressure sensitivity for your tablet.